This circle of fifths is made with the major circle of fifths and the minor circle of fifths. Because of this configuration, it is easy to see the thirds, both major and minor, and derive all of your root position triads. If we look at the circle and start at the minor, we can show minor thirds. For example, A to C is a minor third. B to D is a minor third. When going from the inner ring to the outer ring, G sharp to B sharp, for example, we show minor thirds. Major thirds are shown using the clockwise diagonal. For example, from C to E is a major third. From G to B is a major third. From E to G sharp is a major third. All the way around the circle going in the clockwise diagonal, major thirds can be found. Root position triads can be shown quite easily with this major minor circle of fifth configuration. The major third is the clockwise diagonal C to E. The fifth is from C to G, so your major root position triad would be C, E, and G for C major. For G major, the G major root position triad is G, B, and D. For D major, the root position triad is D, F sharp, and A. This pattern can be used all around the, the circle. So, for example, the A flat major root position triad is A flat, C, and E flat. Like the major root position triads, minor root position triads can be shown using the circle of fifths as well. Remember that from A to C is a minor third. From A to E is our fifth, so the A minor root position triad would be A, C, and E. Using that same pattern, the B minor root position triad would be B, D, and F sharp. The F minor root position triad would be F, A flat, and C. And following that same pattern, the G minor root position triad would be G, B flat, and D. This circle is especially nice because it shows which keys of the triads are black keys. So in the A minor root position triad, the three keys are white because none of the wedges are black. In the B minor root position triad, the F sharp is a black key.